So um, my name is Mustafa Doğan. Uh, I'm the deputy head of digital library department here and also uh, le leading the team where we have 15 software engineers and working with agile methods and IIIF. And most of the things I'll be presenting today are the results of their work. So from a librarian perspective, it's hard to talk about anything digital without talking about digital transformation. Digital transformation changes libraries. We get or create petabytes of digital data, try to find ways to manage them. And our library services are becoming more and more IT services. Our funders ask for digital standards, digital sustainability in their calls. So our organization also changes. And over time, our customers change as well. First of all, they get younger. They want to use mobile, mobile devices, they care for user experience, and they want to see more than just the catalog. They want to see the content, the image, the full text, and search in it and uh, access it whenever they want. So standards like IIIF cannot solve all, the, all these problems coming from the digital transformation, but it can help libraries to become more digital without reinventing the wheel. In the next few slides, I will talk about our experience with IIIF and our journey up to that mountain. So a little bit history. This is how our digital library for printed books looked like a few years ago. GDZ stands for uh, Getting in Digitization Center. I think uh, you might be able to visit that too. It's also a department where we scan our historical books. But uh, this is also the name of our service. And the service had performance issues because of the increase of the index objects, more than tenfold compared with the start of the service 10 years ago. And it was and still uh, one of the best uh, visited online services of our library. It was originally designed for approximately 100,000 pages 10 years ago, but was trying to cope with 10 million pages as we decided to redesign it. Our initial goal was to renew the indexer and to provide a responsive design, uh, but we uh, decided to keep the architecture for the beginning. But after three months of agile development, we realized that we need a complete redesign of the architecture in order to be able to provide a scalable product. That was the point where we decided to give IIIF a go. And we par partially ditched what we had done and partially refactored what we had done and created a modular IT architecture supporting presentation image APIs of IIIF. And developed a software bundle, a viewer with AGPL license, which you can also find on GitHub. I'll talk about that later. And after a project, we launched two years ago this new service with a new responsive design and better performance, text to also IIIF, giving online access to 63,000 books and manuscripts in 20 collections and 50 million pages. Presentation storage is about 40 terabytes, including permanent cache for tiles, and we also need about 200 terabytes for the raw data with an ascending trend because of ongoing digitization projects. But how did IIIF help us here? It helped us build a scalable product and provided a uniform access to image-based content, as we also heard today from other speakers. So we didn't have to wait long for the next project. We were asked to build a similar service for different material coming from publishing houses, which were licensed by the library sponsored by the German Research Foundation. The numbers got even larger this time. Uh, until 2021, the service is expected to provide access to one and a half million records and about one million pages. 100 million pages, sorry. <laughs> and at the moment, we got about a third of it, half a million records and 28 million pages online using pretty much the same software based on IIIF with little adjustments. I put also the links on the left-hand side. If you want to visit them, uh, you can have a look at it. Uh, and with IIIF, we could reuse the software and invest it less uh, in re reinventing the wheel. That was the gain of IIIF here. A similar uh, digital library project with a service, provi uh, service provider for scientific periodicals has also been started lately. And we plan to relaunch the Digit Sideshift website in the next few, few weeks. And uh, this is comparable to JSTOR. 
This will be giving access to 700 periodicals with 8 million pages. And this is again an example of reuse of tools and less reinventing the wheel. We, the University of Göttingen has additional collections with 3D objects, which has been scanned for the time being with uh, 30,000 objects. And we act as consultants for this project, looking back at our experience with IIIF. We encourage the project team to implement IIIF here so that we can link to 3D objects with printed and handwritten material. Here you can see one of the early examples where we use uh, Mirador Viewer. Uh, at the left hand side, you see a coin of the Empress Elizabeth of Russia from 1742. And at the right hand side, you see a letter of Georg Thomas von Asch on Heine, the library director at that time, how he mentions these coins. So this is a good example of how we can support provenance research. And IIIF helped us here to reuse the data and add value to existing services. The software suite I talked about earlier, during these projects we got a lot of help from the IIIF community and we learned a lot about IIIF. And we decided to keep, give the software we created back to the community as part of our policy, which is now ac accessible over GitHub as I said, with AGPL. And this IIIF bundle contains the backend written in Symfony, a PHP framework for IIIF support. If you are using other Göttingen products like Gobi or Kitodo, you'll also hear about them during the conference, I assume. This bundle might quite, uh, come quite handy to build a presentation later upon that. And Tiffy is a lightweight IIIF viewer, which can process even long documents up to 10,000 pages. It's implemented with JavaScript. Uh, for image rendering, we use existing libraries like OpenSea Directory. And it can be used standalone in a web page or as type of three extension. Uh, support for WordPress or other uh, content management systems and villages. It uh, has features like panels. You can see the scans, thumbnails, uh, table of contents, metadata. I mean, you, you know these already from other viewers. What is uh, interesting about uh, Tiffy is. Uh, it supports uh, responsive design. It's mobile friendly. And as in this example, you can see that at the right hand side, uh, there is the full text of the document also presented. And at the left hand side, you can see the image with the additional functions like image manipulation. Um, we sometimes come across some TV implementations on different websites. Here's an example from East California University. Unfortunately, we don't have the opportunity always to follow who's using what. But uh, if you want to give us feedback, if you are using uh, TV or if you want to use TV, or if you don't want to use TV after you related it, please give us a feedback. And last but not least, TIPLIF helps libraries to preserve their treasures better. Here you can see the digitized version of the infamous Gutenberg Bible, which is worldwide accessible and reusable over IIIF now. Our head of special collections is very happy now that he doesn't need to take it out of the safe every time we have a VIP guest. So he's sleeping better now. So in a nutshell, IIIF provides uniform access to image-based data, and it helps building scalable services, prevents reinventing the wheel by software reuse, adds value to existing services by data reuse, fosters interaction with the community facing similar challenges, and contributes to preservation of cultural heritage. So Outlook, we hope to provide better support for scholarly digital editions and digital humanities since our virtual research environment takes good also supports IIIF. Regina will be talking about this in a couple of minutes. And we are collaborating with other libraries in a national project to digitize and index printed materials published in the 17th and 18th century in the German speaking areas. This is a huge project where we digitize millions of pages and we are planning to use IIIF to combine content from across repositories. Text delivery is an important requirement. In this regard, we are looking forward to discussions about the new beta 3.1 uh, APIs of image and presentation API, also during this conference. About Tiffy, we have plans for a plugin approach to provide easy enhancements for project-specific requirements. Annotation support is also one of the demanded features we are working on. So I think the time is up and I'm done.